Illinois pork producers recently announced that they contributed nearly 100,000 pounds of ground pork and to uh, food banks thanks to financial help from the corn and soybean organizations. WCIA3's ag reporter Stu Ellis has more in this report from the farm. Corn and soybean checkoff programs were established to promote research and market development. But the Illinois soybean and corn boards are pooling their money for some much different ways for the betterment of agriculture, says Soybean Board Chairman Doug Schroeder. So recently we just partnered with corn for the Precision Conservation Management Program. Uh, this is something that El every Illinois farmer, whether you're a soybean farmer or a corn farmer, is going to face. We need data to take to uh, the powers to be to show that we are doing a good job uh, of conserving the soil we have, uh, doing it efficiently, effectively. And the more information we have, the better off for our, uh, our uh, farming enterprises. And uh, we are hopefully training farmers how to do it better, how to do it profitably, to show them what might work on their specific soil types on their specific farms. So this is a fairly new thing, but it's one we're really, really excited about. Corn Board Chairman Dirk Rice says all farmers will benefit from the joint efforts. They're farmers just like we are. I mean, I know a lot of them, and you know, a lot of the goals we work for, uh, when you, you start talking transportation issues, uh, locks and dams, issues like that, that's where, you know, we've been We've been literally rowing the same boat <laughs> there for a long time. And, you know, a lot of, uh, you get into environmental issues, nutrient issues. You know, we really deal with the same issues, you know, maybe from a different, maybe come at it a little different angle sometimes. But, but really, yes, as you, as you mentioned, all our, our growers, for the most part, everybody grows corn and soybeans. And so it makes sense for the two organizations to work together as much as we can. Not too many years ago, both organizations claimed their own turf. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.